This is Abdul Rahim of Riverville Organic Farm, located in the common south of the Gambia. Yeah, when, when it comes to the plants, we have a series of different, different plants. In this farm, you grow plants that are very rare to find in other farms in the Gambia, like apple, strawberry, coffee, to name few. You name them. Popo, <laughs> Fish, you you know, about them. popo different, different plants, cashew, palm tree, you know, pineapple, different, different. We have different plants and then we have different herbs as well. Herbs. Different herbs that are really, really med medicinal. In this video, he will take us on a tour of different parts of the farm to see the coffee, strawberry, bitter cola and the apple. But before we get started, Abdul Rahim will tell us how he started this farm with his brother. So what inspired uh, the farm itself? We, we were inspired uh, that we need to do something because technically we are, we are technical people. Okay. We are really technical people. Like my brother, he, is a, he has been doing only technical throughout all over his life. He has okay. been teaching technical uh, carpentry mm -hmm. agriculture that was his that is his life and he started swigam okay. and then you can see he does the bohol drilling and everything okay. yeah myself I'm a, I'm a trained carpenter okay so during my primary school we have a, a carpentry workshop at home mm -hmm. from school it's workshop so that's where we all got this inspiration from. Mm -hmm. So from uh, primary school, I went to a technical school in Farafenya, ATC. Mm -hmm. He was the technical teacher, uh, carpentry teacher and agri teacher at the time. So we still have a workshop in town. From school, go to workshop. workshop. So we've been working like that. After that, I came back to GZTI the same. I have a workshop at home. From school, direct to the workshop. So when I close school from Friday, sometimes I don't even get out of the compound again till Monday because I have a workshop, I have everything I need in, in, in the compound there. So that's how we started until he has some of this farm. He has another farm in Cambodia. We started in small scale there but we put more, more of oranges there. So we've been working there for some time then he have another one in Katong. Then I moved to Katong, I developed that place. Um, then later this one. Okay. So when it comes to the animal also, we, we tried a lot of different animals, mm. but we were not that very lucky on the animal side because okay. we lost a lot of them. Mm. We have cows, mm. even this uh, improved one for milk, we, we were having them, but we, uh, unfortunately we lost them all. Okay. Um, we also, we were having sheep also, but it was difficult because they keep dying, dying. So for now we stop sheep for the main time and goats also. And cows. And cows, yes. We still have two here, mm -hmm. but they are the Senegalese breed, the one with the home, the home cattle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because no, most of the people still don't believe that it yes. is it, 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 it is produced <laughs> in the Gambia. It is Gambia. Still, okay. people don't don't believe. So some people will come here just to come and find out if it is real grown in the Gambia or not. Or not. Okay. Yes. So that is one 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 of the problems. Okay. So, but people love it, especially those who travel once. Yes. They love strawberries. Strawberries. Because I believe that is the only, is the only fruit that have the seeds outside exposed. Why the seeds? That's the seeds. Okay. These are the seeds. These are the seeds. So oh. according to research, this is the only fruit that have seeds outside. So even if at all, doctor said your system have gas. If you eat strawberry, that it, it, it will extract the gas all from your system. Oh, okay. So it is a very, very, very unique plant. You can use it to do a lot of things. You can use it for ice cream, uh, marmalade, Cakes. juice, Cakes. different, yeah. different, different recipes on them. And okay. they are simple recipes, you know. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the demand really is very high. Okay. To sell it is, for now, it's really easy to sell. And what we're planning to do now, we want to extract seeds from the bigger fruits okay. and then germinate those ones. Because we want to believe that the new plants will be able to produce more fruits than the old ones. Because normally I, I take suckers from these ones and transplant. Suckers okay. from these ones I transplant. Because this one is just about five months here or six months here okay. when I you know, prepare this area. Okay. So do you normally give seedlings to people like to I, help you? I do, yes. Okay. I do. I've given seedlings to a lot of people, a lot of people, yeah. Okay. When, when you ask for it, I will give you some conditions that conditions. you have to take care of it so that somebody so else will also from benefit you. from you. Yeah. From you yes. So you, if you <laughs> promise that you will take care, then I give you seedlings, okay. you know. Because I think that is one of the perma, permaculture rules. 
Yeah. Sharing and sharing. Sharing, okay. Yeah. That's from my boss, Pamara, Pamara. Pamara Baji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said we need to care and share. Yeah, and share. <laughs> free care, free share. This is the coffee plant. Okay. Uh, we have 130 coffee plants at the farm here. 130. 130, yeah. So okay. this is one of them. Okay. You, know, you can see this one is ready for harvest now. Okay. These are the coffee beans. They are all ripe now. They are due for harvest. Okay. So when we harvest them now, mm -hmm. we will we either dry them like this. Mm -hmm. When they are dry, then we put them in a mortar and then we pound them okay. and remove the, 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 the outer skin. Okay. And then the coffee bean, mm -hmm. we will dry them and then we will roast them mm -hmm. and then turn them into flour, okay. into powder, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we, we need another machine that will make it an instant coffee, but for now we don't have that one. Okay. So we use this, that powder, put them into tea bag and then sell them like coffee like that. We put 25 sachet in a packet and then we sell that for $150 a yeah, month. Yeah. yeah, so but this one is ready now for harvest. We're going to harvest this one today. today. This one likewise also. So on the other side also we have some that are already due for harvest now. Okay. So this one it's ready you can see they bear a lot of fruits this is supposed to be the third harvest now from when it started to, pro uh, to, to produce Produ so we will harvest it today and then i will dry them uh, already we have about four kilos that one that is already ready now we just have to uh, roast it so maybe i will wait for this one and then it will be a lot more than, than, than we will we'll do it at once yes Okay. So, but this one is, is ready. It's ready and it's real coffee. When you have a taste of it, you will really enjoy the coffee. <laughs> it's a very nice coffee. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. Coffee there that we have 130 plants here. Okay. So this is the area where we have the coffee. Okay. So you can see all these uh, coffee plants okay. up to the end there. Okay. We have two varieties. This one, the big leaf and yeah, and this one, this, this narrow one, this one is the Arabia. Okay. So we have about 130 coffee, plants, coffee. coffee plants. Yes. And right now they are all producing and some have flowers, some are already producing. You can see the flowers and you see all this and have fruits already. Okay. So, but all of them, they are in that stage now. They all either have fruits or they have, they are on the flowering Flower. stage now. So all this area is the coffee area. Yeah. 120 is for sure that, that is here. That is here. Different. On the other side also, compared everything is 130. Coffee. Coffee, yeah. 130. But on the nursery, we have uh, 2,000. 2000 seedlings coffee. where we went there we have 2000 seedlings that are ready for transplant so we're just waiting for the rain to come and then we can transplant, transplant. because we want to put them in one area just like here that area is going to be only coffee yeah this is the famous bitter cola plant okay that now almost every gambian is is, is using bitter cola because bitter cola, it's yes. health benefits yeah. okay. there are a lot of health benefits according to the scientists on bitter cola okay it does a lot when it comes with stomach problem toothache, headache, lots of different benefits. Even in your environment, if you have snakes or snake bite or anything, when you chew it, then it's okay. So, but most of the people in the Gambia here are told these plants cannot grow in the Gambia here when it's, a, it's false. So we have this one. This is this third year now, but you can see, we're hoping also to see fruits very soon on okay. that year. How many plants do you have of this? Um, right now we have about 11, 11, 11 plants, yeah. okay. but before we have about 120, but there used to be this, uh, there is a, a group in Sifo that normally comes here, they do tree planting and they sometimes come and render help here, okay. so but when they come it's a large group, everybody wants one, one. so we gave them one, 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 at the end of the day, I think it's only one that is surviving, but they took all the bitter colors and then they all died. They were not taken care, care of. Them. of them. They all died. Only one lady has her own with her up till now. Mm -hmm. So, but we are also trying with ours. Then this year also, I did my own nursery. At least I was lucky to germinate about 50. 50? 50. 50 or a little bit more. So we still have some in the nursery, but we also have planted some in the other area of the farm here and on the other area there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Th this is the apple area. Okay. You can see all these plants are apple. Okay. We have 101 apple plants here. Plants here. They are all about one year old now. A little bit less than one year. One year old. But you can see they are growing very, very fast. Yes. Look at their height now. Mm -hmm. So these ones, we are the first one, the first 10. You know, I told you I first have 10 from yeah. Bomboring. This we are the first 10. Then later, another 10. 
than the rest. But if you look at them now, they are almost the same height, the same size, and the same the same height and everything. So we're expecting that maybe towards the end of this year or early next year, mm. we should start seeing flowers and flowers fruits on and them. Fruits yes. on them. So that's what we're really expecting. Okay. We're doing a lot of work on them. You can see these holes, we dig big holes and then we put a lot of manure. Each hole have three wheelbarrow of manure, cow dung from the compost. And then we water them for like two weeks before we transplant. So, but when we transplant every week or every two weeks, we turn the soil. So you can see how they are growing very growing fast. fast yeah. Yeah. So with these plants, mm. we are also making a lot of other plants from the same plant. Okay. But because you can see like this one, you have a lot of branches from the ground. So what we do, we do layering. The apples, at least we're trying to multiply from the same plant. Okay. We're doing what we call uh, layering okay. from, from these plants. You can see we have a lot of branches from the, from the bottom. Okay. So what we do, here, when you have a branch like that, yeah. you just remove the, 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 the skin like that, okay. just a little like that mm -hmm. and then you bury it bury it yeah so that that high okay that high okay. so we expect that when you do that mm -hmm. in 21 days time they should have roots roots so when 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 the roots come up to here then you will remove this soil and then you have roots here already so okay. you will cut here carefully. carefully when you cut here carefully then this plant will be an independent plant you take it and then you either plant it on a separate place or you put it in a polypot but normally i prefer putting it in a big polypot observe it for two weeks when it is okay then i can retransplant them but i did that but i transplant some because some were big i transplant them directly that one was one of them mm -hmm. i did that yesterday but you see it's, it will still come because oh. they have enough roots to to to, to grow by themselves okay. so that's what we are doing here but at least i have 13 new plants from this uh, day before yesterday and yesterday I have 13 new plants so which is a plus if I should buy that those 13 plants each for $500 well, each, that was going to be a lot of money a lot of money yeah yeah, mm, yeah these rabbits they, I just brought them from Senegal last week okay they are different breeds I brought four pairs different breeds I just brought them and then we started breeding them here Okay. Mm -hmm. They are new to us, so we are learning also about rabbits. So we want to see how it goes. I went to Senegal and I saw them. I was they admired me. Then I just bought four pairs of these rabbits. These are geese here, but they are different. You can see this one. Normally, this one in other countries they use them as watchmen. The the one in front there. Okay. They use them as watchmen because if you have them at your house, they are very sensitive. Anybody who comes over anywhere around the house, they will see you and they will make noise. They will make noise and if you don't mind, they will attack. Which one? This one, this, this type. In, in, in Senegal, they call them Ua Gardenia. You know, Gardenia means watchman. Oh, okay. That's how they call this one. This one, they call them Ua, but Guinea. So maybe it's originally from Guinea. Maybe because normally some of these breeds they call them uh, from their origin where they originated from. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these ones have been this one have been here for a long time, but this one I brought these ones with the rabbits the same day. So they were five, but I lost uh, the four, and then the older one that were here. This one they were two the same type. I lost one, and this one also we lost about six. So it was a challenge. We don't even establish what the cause was. So we lose those ones. But even this guinefowl also, I brought them from Senegal because they said they are they are the big ones. They are very big ones. They grow very big, and then they they lay a lot of eggs. Within the season, they can lay up to seventy to seventy seventy between seventy to seventy five eggs. Wow. Okay. This guinefowl. So I bought three from from them. So you can see there is another one. You can see they are very nice. Okay. They call them Colwell, but they believe that they, 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 they produce a lot of eggs also. They are easier to multiply than all these other breeds. 
So normally the male ones have this uh, multicolor head. That's the male one. That's the other one is the female one. Okay. Yeah. This one is the female one. The one, the, the other one, but this one with the multicolor hair head is the is the male one. This one. Okay. So the other one there is the is the female one. Yeah. We have maybe environment problem. Problem. Okay. We don't know. We don't establish exactly what the problem is, but we believe that is the environment because they have good food. They have. Uh, the doctor comes every time and then normally they will take blood samples go and check so their treatments are based on the on the on the result from the lab but with all that we have a lot of problems you will see the cow very healthy this evening before daybreak the cow is dead how many cattle have you lost in that we lose almost 60 or a little bit more than 60. 60 60 60 not one six six zero sixty sixty cattle 60 and then the ships one go we lose 28 within 48 hours. Within 48 hours, we lose 28 ships within that short time. Now, from last Tobaski to date, we lose uh, 13 ships, then we lose about nine goods within Tobaski to date. But you can't still figure out what the problem is. We still don't know what, but we want to believe that maybe it's the environment. Some people say maybe the, the salt water that they inhale, it could be a factor. Um, we really don't establish because we've checked the food, we've checked, we've checked the clinic, everything. Because any cattle that die, normally I will invite the vet and then they will skin it and then we check the lungs, the heart and everything. But normally they are all intact. So no, still that, that, that must be a, a very big, big challenge. That's, that, a lot of that, money. That's, a, that's a big challenge because the other cattle, they are dairy cattle. You can see the skin there. I think you saw the skin yeah, I saw there. The skin there. So you see that that's not a small, that, those are not small animals. They are very, very big animals because they, they cost about 200 to 300,000. Thousand dollars. Yes. So we lose them all. Only one was remained, but it was also suffering with foot rot. So I have to take it to Makasutu, Makasutu. Uh, horse, horse and donkey. And donkey. Yeah. But she is very happy there because she's on treatment and then she's given a name now. Okay. Yeah, she's doing very well. I'm happy to see her. Okay. She's doing very well. So those are the big, big, bigger problems. Because just two weeks ago, I went to uh, Senegal and around the poste. We got these geese, these big geese. I brought them. But it's not up to three weeks. But already I lose about nine of those geese. Oh. And they were all okay. We brought them. They were there. The first day I lose one. The second day, I lose one of the turkey that I brought. Then the third day, the turkey that was here for a long, long time, nothing was wrong with it. The watchman called me in the night that the turkey is lying on one place. So on the whole, when he was calling already, that one has died. That already. So, but it was a big one, a big turkey. Oh. So we, I lost all the turkeys. The geese now, you can see, I am left with only one pair here. Then I move another pair outside. So that one is also there. Okay. So those are our real, 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 real challenges here. Okay. Because some, if at all it was somebody else, I think they would just abandon the place. Abandon the place but, because that is a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But uh, my brother is the one investing on those things. But when I tell him, he said, it's, it's God, it's the work of God. So sure. let's just push. push. We will get there one day. And we all believe that we will get there. Get so there. that's why we are all we, we, we're still pushing. We're still pushing, yeah. Okay. So maybe with time, all the animals we will steal because we really love keeping animals. Okay. But it's like we are not that lucky. lucky. Like uh, you see the rabbits also. All the big ones, I lost them within a short time because somebody gave me a, a dog. I kept it in there and then it escaped. It killed all the rabbits, rabbits. that were outside. For big ones, you know, they are all male ones. Oh, okay. So the challenges are a little bit mm -hmm. difficult. With the crops, um, Alhamdulillah, but still we have problems with the monkeys. We have a lot of monkeys around. Monkeys around. Yes. Monkeys and pigs. The pigs belongs to the neighbors. Okay. So what they do, they will come via the river end. So when the, the water is low, they will get in and then come back. Come inside the farm. So if nobody is around, they will just be destroyed. destroyed. Before you can see, all this area was cassava. But it was the monkeys. They destroyed all. So I got angry. I said, let's remove it all. Okay. So those are some of our, our challenges here.